SC35 is considered by many to be one of Sea Lion's most capable boats. Why? Quite simply, because it's a very, very capable jack of all trades. Designed by Oki Manafelt, it has a very capable deep V hull, which is quite unusual in all honesty on a boat with as much beam as this. The hull has got a pretty sharp forefoot, so when she's trimmed in, this boat produces a pretty smooth ride into a head sea. That's something that we found when we tested the boat back in 2008. As you can see, the transom dead rise is pretty sharp. Now these Volvo Duo Prop stern drives are only barely two years old. Subsequently, they're still in, still in top condition. But point to note is that they have a pretty ravenous appetite for anodes. Hence, there was an anode here and there was an anode here and they've gone pretty damn quickly. These ring anodes here have been recently replaced and they're still in pretty good condition. But it's something worth noting with these stern drives. This boat is fitted with the optional automatic Volvo interceptor trim tabs. The tab comes down vertically out of the casing here. Uh, a lot quicker acting than your conventional trim tabs and certainly an extra worth having on any boat. Any sports cruiser worth its salt needs a good cockpit and the SC35 has got a cockpit that can rival most 40 footers. A vast amount of seating down on the port side, a double hip helm seat to starboard, but the key feature of this boat is you can turn it from a, effectively from a hard top coupe to an open sports boat in a matter of minutes with this great soft top opening roof. Of course one thing we mustn't forget, it's got a great cockpit galley, barbecue, sink, under top storage plus the battery cut off switches quickly and easily accessible and last but not least a fridge. I quite like the helm ergonomics with the seat bolster folded up. It's just right for sitting with your feet on a footboard. The wheel comes easily to hand, the throttles come easily to hand. I like the central chart plotter position and the view over the foredeck and the bow is just perfect. Sea Lion have very logically paired their instruments together. So if you've got any abnormalities on one engine, it's easy to spot it in contrast to the other. On the port side, we have a substantial chart table more than big enough to take any chart portfolio pack. Like any self-respecting engine nut, I'm big about engine access. This boat has got quick and easy access through a cockpit hatch, a must for any boat. Once you're down here, you've got bags of room to move around. What immediately comes to hand is the primary fuel filters. Turn around, you've got the raw water strainers, the transparent tops, immediately behind you on the engines, quickly and easily spotted. Dipsticks easily come to hand, as do the oil filters. Built for servicing, built for quick and easy checks. The beam with the SC35 really pays off in the saloon. As you can see, you get a lot of space for a 35 foot sports cruiser. On the starboard size, you have a fairly compact galley, a decent stainless steel cooker, um, it's a bit limited in storage, it's got a good sized fridge, glass storage here, television here, heads with ensuite access to the forward master cabin, amidships, you've got a very respectable mid cabin with a very wide double berth. Many people may opt to choose that over the full cabin. Listed with Ancaster of Port Solent for £179,000, this SC35 represents great value for money. Let's face it, there aren't many two-year-old sports cruisers with the level of build and features that this boat has that you can get for that sort of money.